Things are not going well over at Marvel. Uh, in fact, I feel like the past, I don't know, two years have probably been the most chaotic we've ever seen in the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's not like an exaggeration. That's just a reality. And now with all the different news coming out about the chaos behind the scenes, the problems they're having with Disney+, Plus, the box office disappointments, the streaming failures, all this shit, all of this is leading up to one last movie we have at the end of the year, which is The Marvels. And it's tracking right now to have potentially the worst opening that we've seen in the history of the MCU, dating all the way back to 2008. Right now, it's tracking to open somewhere between 50 and 75 million. Right now, pre-sales tracking below Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, below even something like Eternals. Really bad news. And now, it sounds like the star might not want to stick around much longer. Brie Larson reportedly disillusioned with the Marvel role after toxic backlash. And this is all stemming from... Uh, this book that's out there about the reign of the MCU, which has detailed a lot of things that happened in the past and might be happening in the future. Uh, but this is what we got. The Brie Larson grew disillusioned with Captain Marvel role, doesn't want to play the part anymore. And the quote from the book is this, which then gets expanded on in a podcast interview. Specifically, Joanna Robinson, who wrote this book, who interviewed like a hundred different writers, actors, producers, people who have played a role in the MCU over the past decade and a half. The future of those Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of franchise anchors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson had already taken its toll, as had the shocking loss of Chadwick Boseman. But other MCU stalwarts were headed for exits. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast went on a farewell tour. Brie Larson grew disillusioned, and Marvel tussled with Sony. That's the one line in there that people were asking about. So when on a podcast, she said this. I don't know if Brie Larson was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash means that Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore. That's sort of what she said. She was interviewed at D23 and they're like, so you know, we're going to see a bunch more. She's like, I don't know. Does anyone want me to play? Doesn't seem like it. And we all talked about that. This is this moment mm -hmm. right here. How long yep. will you play Captain Marvel for? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> don't be so modest. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Jeremy, can you believe that Brie Larson might want to be out? She might want to be done. She doesn't want to play the role anymore. I think it's hilarious. And I think that Brie Larson is one of the most unlikable people in Hollywood. And I think that she has brought um, almost all of this upon herself with her racist remarks uh, towards white men and showing how unlikable she is and repeating time after time uh, i'm not saying i hate white dudes but then she continues to hate white dudes and talk about how white dudes aren't allowed to have an opinion on a movie uh that she deemed that they're not supposed to have an opinion on and that's really where it all kind of started and then it just kind of went from there and she just continued to be very unlikable captain marvel sucked apparently i didn't see it shout out to mauler i watched his unbridled rage on it but uh yeah so she's just an unlikable person she said really bad things about uh an entire race and gender and she was held accountable for that welcome to accountability i know this is what happens when you say racist shit and you're held accountable for it and so for her to be disillusioned i, I think it's funny That's all i could do is laugh at it and think it's funny at this point i think it was clear like all the way back then she clearly like this answer it's obvious that she didn't enjoy like the role and knows that people don't want her back. I think it's a combination of things. Things Brie Larson said in the lead up and during it, just kind of some of the ways that she acted. I think they've done a lot to try to rehabilitate that image, like very clearly between her YouTube channel stuff, between her appearances on other things. But the other part is the way that her character has been portrayed in the MCU. Uh, her character, you were told that you need to watch this movie, that it's the most important thing ever. It's sandwiched between the two biggest movies in comic book history. And this is what it's all about. They kind of retroactively went back and decided to make this about her after the success of Wonder Woman from DC because they got really butthurt that they had success with a female superhero. So they shove in Captain Marvel. And then if you had any problem with it, it couldn't just be that you didn't like the character. No, you were attacked by the media and by people with Marvel, her co-star Samuel L. Jackson. You must just not like strong women. That's why people have a problem with this character, even though didn't have that same backlash for something like Wonder Woman. But- all in all, if this combination of her saying what she said and the fact that the movie people didn't like it, it was fucking divisive and they don't like the fact that her character was pushed, that she's the most powerful character in the MCU, that they continue to double and triple down even after fans said they weren't interested in it. That has all led to the disaster we see for, for us in front of us today, which is 
her sequel, the sequel to a billion dollar movie, might end up being one of the biggest flops in the history of the MCU.